Pre-planning for your final expenses is among the last gifts you can give to your family. We asked Carlos Galindo, advanced planning expert for the Diocese of Orange, how to get started. There are various degrees of pre-planning and most people probably have taken uh, the first step of telling their loved ones, this is what I want when I pass away. Uh, most people don't want to think about these kinds of things until uh, they need it. Some people have gone to the extent of buying their cemetery property. Others have perhaps gone to a mortuary and explored and possibly even prepaid their uh, mortuary services. Very, very few people have everything covered. Um, and so it's, uh, it, it is part of human nature to deny your mortality and to think about it is, is just not a, a happy thing to do. One of the major advantages that I should mention of planning in advance is that you can freeze today's costs and you can make payments over, in, in our cemetery cases, uh, up to five years, you know, making it more affordable to actually uh, pay for your burial property. The, the secular cemeteries offer up to seven years of payments. So it's something that you can uh, take, uh, um, take it in bite-sized pieces. Um, same thing with mortuary costs. Uh, typically, when you plan in advance, you get a life insurance policy, which you make premium payments over a fixed period of time. And when you pass away, the mortuary costs are covered by the plan that you've chosen. So in the case of our Catholic funeral plan, we offer the five-year payment plan on a piece of property, locking in today's price, and we have a life insurance policy that funds a uh, full Catholic funeral, meaning everything from the mortuary cost to the transportation to and from, the vigil, the funeral mass and the committal service all in one package. And so you make your choices based on, on uh, your own fact finding. And then we take care of making it such that you can afford to make the payments. So as Catholics, uh, the best source of information of, of uh, what is required, at least here in Orange County in the Orange Diocese, is our Catholic cemeteries. We have four cemeteries with trained, experienced counselors at each one, any one of whom can uh, give you all the information you need for planning in advance. And the church uh, wants, and, and I guess uh, one has to know that there are three components of a Catholic Christian burial. They are really rather simple. I mentioned the vigil, the uh, uh, funeral mass, and then the committal service. Uh, most people don't think of all that. They say, well, I went to so-and-so's burial and watched the casket go down. But there's, you know, there's more to it if you're a Catholic.